How's it going everyone? My name is Jinger. Welcome back to another episode of Muscle Mondays. Uh, before we get too far into this, I do want to apologize for not having an episode of Muscle Mondays out last Monday. Um, I was having some technical issues and for whatever reason my video creation programs were not working. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Anyhow, we are back up and running, so today we are going to be doing another episode. We are going to be customizing and racing the 1969 Dodge Charger Road slash track. Uh, this comes as a special request from one of my subscribers uh, to customize and race this car. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get to the tuning. Right, for those of you watching who don't know what a Muscle Mondays is, basically what it is is I take a muscle car, old or new, and I tweak it, I tune it, I mod it, and I pit it against the competition and I see how well it does. Let's go ahead and upgrade this uh, this Dodge Charger. See if there's any conversions we wanna do first. I don't really know if I wanna swap the engine. There's a big performance jump though. I think I wanna keep it naturally aspirated. Um, drivetrain. all-wheel drive. I don't know. There's a 0.5 speed improvement, but everything else looks like it's declining. I think I'll keep it. And uh, engine swap. I mean, I can't really say no to a, uh, a 5.9 liter V8, seeing as how the speed improvement is by quite a bit and acceleration is also so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out for the uh, 5.9 liter V8 let's go back to the engine let's uh, take off the restrictor plates here uh, the brakes I'm gonna go for the race brakes Pretty much everything I'm going to be going to the uh, the max here, so uh, the racing spec anti-roll bars, front and rear, a racing spec chassis reinforcement cage, and a weight reduction takes off 700 pounds. Well, wow, that's a lot. Uh, clutch. Let's see. Shift time minus 0.1 seconds. We'll do a street transmission. I can't really justify going with the racing spec on this one, so we're gonna go street transmission. Uh, driveline, we'll go with the uh, racing driveline. Take off about 17 pounds. Let's see, differential, well I don't really see a difference here. So we're just gonna go with the stock differential. Uh, tires, not the drag, gonna go with the racing tire compound. Um, front tire width. Go with the 275-55R14. Uh, rear tire width, gotta get those fatty tires on the back there. 345s. Looks pretty sweet. I'll do those. Take off 38 pounds from the overall weight. I need to upgrade the rim size. Maybe just a little bit for flashiness. 16 inch, there we go. Um, front bumper, I don't really know if that's worth it. I would say it is. It takes the handling and breaking up of the acceleration down a little bit, but that's all right. It takes down the speed by 0.3, but the handling up by 0.1, acceleration up by 0.1, and the braking up by 0.1. I don't think we really need that. And the hood. I'm gonna go with the street hood here. Let's check the suspension here. Don't want it too low. Go with the street spring and dampers. And then let's go ahead and get into the uh, cosmetic upgrades, like the paint and everything. Let's go ahead and paint the body. All right, we're gonna do that one. Okay, and then let's, uh, let's apply some decals.
All right, guys, we are back, and we are going to be racing on the Sebring International Raceway. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, that little time lapse of my uh, my paint and decal uh, session that I did. It looks like we're going up against two Ford GTs and a race car of some kind. Uh, let's see about the mods here really fast. Breaking line only, we'll leave that on. Looks like I have mods for every track except for Sebring. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do 5% power. And then for the third mod, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a third mod. Earn 1,000 credits for perfect turns. Affinity level, we'll do affinity level because I'm my affinity is not that great for dodge. So we'll try that. Okay, and so without further ado, let's race. All right guys, we are racing the 1969 Dodge Charger Road Slash Track. This thing has around 1,000 horsepower altogether. Looks like we're racing a uh, two Ford GTs and looks like another race car. I'm not really sure what that one is. Just a couple of side notes here. I did swap out the stock engine for a 5.9 liter V8 racing engine. I did not touch the drivetrain, so we're still rocking that rear wheel drive stock drivetrain. I didn't add 
let's see what we got for a price spin here. Sweet. All right, that's going to wrap things up for episode two of Muscle Mondays. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me race the 1969 Dodge Charger Road Slash Track. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really supports me and what I love doing on this channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And until next time, take it easy.